Hi, and welcome back to Canva Bestie. Today, we're going to go over how to use frames in Canva. Now, when you're in your design, you want to navigate over to elements on the left-hand side and scroll down until you see frames. From there, select see all, and you can see all the different available frames that you can use in your design. You can also go into elements and you can type frames in the search bar and it will bring up your frames faster. You can also type a specific type of frame. So for example, a heart frame, it will give me all the heart options or even a phone frame. And you can select see all and you can see everything that Canva has. Now that we've learned all about frames, let's learn how to use them. So we're going to put a frame on our design here. So once again, we're going over to elements on the left-hand side and we're scrolling down until we see frames and we're selecting see all. And for today, I'm just going to use a circle. I'm going to click it and it's going to go onto our canvas and we can move it wherever. You can also easily resize your frame by clicking the dots on the corner holding and dragging and you can make your frame as big or as small as you want. Let's put an image in our frame. So we're going to size it up to where we want it and I'm going to center it like so. When you're happy with where your frame is, you're going to want to put a picture in your frame. So to do that, you can use your uploads that you upload into Canva or you can use Canva's elements. So we're going to use the elements. So go ahead and click it and up here in the search bar you can search for whatever you want to put in your frame so for this video i'm going to do a puppy because who doesn't love a cute puppy now when you search for your term here it's going to give you all the options there's graphics photos and videos you can put any of these into your frame all you have to do is click and drag so let's go into photos here and select see all and then we're going to find a picture that we want to put in our frame. Let's do this guy. So when you find a picture that you like, you want to click it, hold it, and drag it over to your frame. And it will click in place, and then you want to release your mouse. Now if you don't like the position of the picture in the frame, it's really easy to change. So all you have to do is select the frame and double click. And then you can hold and drag your picture to where you want it in the frame. So I'm going to center it like so. And then over here, it also brings up a menu here. So you can rotate it or you can do smart crop, which will crop it to where Canva thinks it looks best in the frame. I'm just gonna resize it a little and then we're going to select done. You want to delete the image that's in the frame. All you have to do is click it once and it will bring up this menu. And you're going to want to click the garbage can and it will give you the option to delete the image or delete the whole frame. So you can just delete the image like so and then you can drag and drop another image back into your frame. Edit the photo in the frame. You can press the edit button here on the top with the frame selected and it will give you all the different options you can do. To your photo in the frame you can add the filter you can add shadows you can add a blur you can also crop the image and flip the image different ways most of frames in canva but let's go look at the other options that canva has to offer so we'll get rid of this we're going to delete the frame this time so it takes away the whole frame we're going to go over to elements and we're just going to explore our frames here by selecting see all. See there are a ton of different types of frames in different categories. There's paper frames that you can use. There's mock-ups like your computer you can use for listing photos and digital products. There's letters which I think are really cool for designs. Letter frames are my personal favorite for designs because you can do so much with them. So let me show you how I use those. I'm gonna get rid of the background frames here. I'm just gonna make this bigger so you can see what I'm doing better. Off the frame letters because you can put any texture or print in them. All you have to do is go over to elements 
and search for what you want and search leopard print and then you can just easily drag any print that you like over into your letter frame and you can double click and adjust to where you want the print as well. We'll do the same with graphics over here. You can pick any graphic, drag it in, and it will clip into place. Another thing you can use the frames for are mock-ups. As you can see here, they have a lot of different devices you can use, and you can just drag and drop. Great for listing photos or digital products that you're selling on Etsy. These would be very convenient for something like that. There you have it. That's how you use Canva frames. I hope that I helped you in some sort of way. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. And if you could like the video and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. See you in the next one.